Alright, let's try this race again. And away we go. And we already know that this uh, wolf here cheats. We're just gonna deal with that. Haha! Still faster than him. Wee! Wee! It's fun on a level such as this where there's lots of uh, platforming elements um, to go through a race that really, uh. No! <laughs> that requires you to, um. Oops! Reload the wrong state there. Uh, let's see. There, that's the one we want. Everybody uh, ready? Okay. To go through a race that requires you to, to jump across go, those go, platforms go, go, go. at a high speed, you know, because we kind of take our time going through here before. Um, and here the challenge really comes in with uh, timing your jumps properly with uh, with this little wolf chasing us. Did I miss a uh, signpost? Oh, this is sad. You should have beaten him, Robin. Next time you will, okay? All right, let's give it a shot. All right, this is it. This is the one. I can feel it. And away we go. Waka waka All right, we're making it. No! Wow! <laughs> All right, I think I'm getting a better idea of at least the track course. So, practice right, makes perfect, right? Almost made it! Almost made it! Well, actually, I can't see the end in sight yet. It's a long race. There we go. We're in the groove now. Oh, I can see the finish line. Ha-ha! Nice job again. You owe him a Muppet token, Buster. <laughs> yeah, definitely earned that token. Woohoo! 39 tokens already. Man, these things add up. Get back here, little fly. <laughs> the, um... The health is, uh, is kind of hard to track down. There we go. Oh, it's already full health anyway. Silly me. This is very convenient. Muppet token just left out lying here. Are these little skull uh, torches? They are. <laughs> That's a fun touch. Again, in a game like this, um, you know, high quality animations really help build the world so much. Uh, I, I think we see some of that even with regards to just, um, you know, the torch light, seeing how the flames bounce very animatedly up and down, you know? Okay, I think that, uh, that's obviously the level exit. Uh, I think there's something that we needed to backtrack to, though. Let's check our inventory real quick. Escape clause. Yeah, we're missing uh, 10 gems, and I think I know where to get... Well, how's our Muppet tokens looking? There's another Muppet token as well we're missing. Okay. Well, I think I know where to get both of those. Um, I know that there's a 10-point gem... Um, that we had to, to backtrack in order to get to. We're gonna check that out now. Whee! Yeah, over this way. Hopefully I can make this jump. Hey, hey! There we go! Now I'm less clear about the location of that other Muppet token. Oh, I'm back around here. Okay. This level's um, moderately more dif challenging to navigate than most of the other levels we've gotten into. It's a little bit easier to get lost here, just because it's, uh, it's a very large, very expansive level um, with 
bunch of different little twisting pathways and branching pathways. Uh, so it's not a simple trek through, you know, uh, a, a linear progression. Which is good. It makes for very fun gameplay. But as I said, it also makes it very easy to get lost in. Now, on the whole, um, pretty much all the levels in this game are pretty large, actually. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, um, slash somewhat impressed by it. I do worry that the levels might be just a little, little too big, that they might kind of wear out their welcome. Um, you know, uh, comparing this to something like Banjo-Kazooie. Um, the levels in general were a, a lot smaller, uh, but you, you got a very wide variety as a result. So um, here we have much bigger uh, wide open levels, um, but less of them, uh, perhaps, you know? Um, although there's, there's still a pretty good variety. We still got tons of them, actually. Um, we'll check at the hub screen. Something like 20 or 30. Uh, it's, it's a pretty high number. Not really sure where that our uh, Muppet token is. I think we'll let this one go. Um, can I glide into that? I can. Haha. -ha. So yeah, and that's that's definitely a personal taste thing. That's not uh, with regards to the length of the levels. Um, some people will say, "Oh, this level's too long." Uh, some people say it's too short. You know, that's that's strictly up to uh, the individual. And it's very hard as a game designer to balance for that. You know, to say, you know, how long is too long to spend in any given level. Now, fortunately, with a game like this, you can kind of make up your own gameplay experience to a certain degree. You know, you can choose to spend more time in a level that you really like, less time in a level you don't like. Um, so that's really nice. It's not like, you know, uh, uh, what I would compare to most first-person shooter progressions, where um, you have to, to go linearly through a certain number of objectives, no matter what, in order to reach the next objective. You know, here you have a little bit more leeway with that. You can say, oh, this is a fun level, I'll spend more time here. Uh, this is a, a cruddy level or a difficult level. Um, I'll kind of take a pass on this one. Now, what do we have here? This is called the Vile River, so obviously, <laughs> there's going to be quite a big water feature here. I'm seeing some of these silly hunter characters that we ran into in that forest level earlier. But this is a little bit more open, um, it seems like. We have this big open cliffside here. Um, in general, just things seem a little bit more spread out than in the, uh, the hunting level. Ooh, it looks like we have piranha here. Watch out, watch out! There are some dangerous water currents around here, okay? So pay attention while you are in the water. Otherwise, you could be swept away to some place other than here, okay? <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't want to be swept away to some place other than here. Oh, they're not piranha, they're a little landmine, or sea mine, uh, yeah, sea mines, <laughs> sorry. Um, so it looks like the name of the game is to avoid the river for right now. So avoid the happy smiley bullets. Actually, they're not very happy, are they? They're kind of angry looking bullets. Are these bunnies bad guys? Oh, no! I was expecting there was going to be a little bunny who turned out to be a big bunny. <laughs> Didn't need that, but picked it up anyway. Yeah, already this level's giving a pretty good impression. Um, just with regards to its design, I like I like having uh, more wide spaces. You know, it's a little bit less to worry about than uh, in the treetops level where. where um, you have to navigate very thin pathways and can very easily fall to your doom. Not quite as big a fan of the music on this level, though. There's Beaker, but we can't reach him yet. Okay, so I must have to come around to him. Alright, here's a river. Okay. So we can swim against the current, it looks like. Um... Interestingly, we can't activate our our water morph. So, um, swing against the current. Oh, it's not very effective. We're just going to try to navigate it instead. Oh, not doing a very good job of that. Huh. 
There's some kind of, uh, like, steel mule over here. Definitely need that. Ooh, I can see a Muppet token up top. Let's get it. And then we'll investigate this, uh, weird industrial area that we discovered. Oh, I think I know where that missing Muppet token was from before. I think it was the bonus that I forgot to backtrack and get. Silly me. Oh well. Alright, there's a Muppet token already. Alright, should be able to use my karate chop on this. There we go. But before we go that way... Ah, this is where the uh, Muppet token, the bonus chest is. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have two branches here. We're gonna check out the little uh, factory area first. Uh, and then we'll come back and head up the climbable area, see where that leads. I'll get back here, Rizzo. I need that Muppet token. <laughs> Got him. Again, yeah, it's kind of funny that Rizzo is an antagonist in this. Of course, he's always been kind of a rascally Muppet, hasn't he? I continue to be pleased with the fact that uh, the widescreen hack that we're using from our emulator, PCSXR, um, plays so well with this game. I mean, it, it looks like native widescreen. You know, we don't have any pop-in from the sides or anything like that. Um, it looks like this is the way the game was meant to be played, you know? That's fantastic. I think that's actually, um, ironically, a result of, of a, a smaller development process, you know, a little bit lower budget. Um, you know, a, a big AAA title would have had a little bit more optimization back when it was released so that it wouldn't be rendering all this area off the screen that viewers aren't seeing. But I don't think they had that level of optimization on this game. And it works in our favor, actually, now that we are actually, um, you know, hacking it to, to show us all that extra area of the screen that normally they would render without, uh, without showing. Another Simon Says minigame. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for Simon Says right now. But I am in the mood for ends. For bonus. Hi Lots of opportunity to use our karate chop morph in here at this level. Oh no, look out! Whew, close one. But you'll also notice, perhaps as a result of that lack of optimization, um, that we do still get some slowdowns every now and then, uh, when we're in a very compressed area with lots of stuff going on on the screen. Um, or rather, when we're in a very wide open area with lots of stuff going on on the screen. You might notice a, a very minimal slowdown. Uh, I think that's native to the game. I don't think that's a result of us emulating it. Um, I think it's just because it was totally optimized properly when it was released. Again, it's not a big problem. And uh, if, you, if you play on emulators, you're kind of used to some slowdowns in games. It's much less common... Uh, ooh, he got me. ...with games from the PS1 generation. Like, for the most part, most computers can, uh, and can run an emulator of a... PS1 or N64 um, or even like Sega Dreamcast game with pretty much no problems, very little slowdown. Uh, as soon as you make the jump to the next generation, we're talking about emulating GameCube and PlayStation 2 titles, um, there it's a lot more common and, uh, and prevalent that you'll get slowdown some titles. But for the most part, PS1 games are pretty safe. So it looks like there's crystals jutting out these walls. I guess that's uh, what the mining operation is here for. Pick out these crystals. Alright, 
Looks like that leads to the level exit. Um.